Some days it's as simple as finding out that your favorite show has been canceled. On other days it's much, much worse. The truth is, we've all received bad news. And we all know how much it hurts. But you want to know what hurts even more than that? Giving bad news. There's nothing harder than trying to find the perfect way, at the perfect time, to tell someone that something terrible has happened. That's why about a year ago, my friends and I decided to cash in on that very struggle. We're the bearers of bad news. That's right. People pay us to deliver their bad news for them. It's an official business, licensed and everything. Got bad news? Tell us and we'll tell it for you. Now on to Tony. Tony has a wicked sense of humor, but at the end of the day, he's still a good hearted guy who can be serious when it matters most. Hey Parker, what's going on buddy? Tony, what's up? Nothing much, just getting a couple of kills in this game I just got today from work. How are you and your sister holding up? Well, I can't never came home last night, so I'm really worried. My sister said they got in an accident, so they had to go to the doctor. Unfortunately, your mom has to stay there for a few days to get some more observations. She was going to call you herself, but her phone died, and they had to take her in for surgery right away. What about my dad? Parker, buddy, I'm sorry to say this, but unfortunately your dad didn't make it. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Tony. Always a jokester. I know my dad isn't dead. Why don't we talk about this over some video games? You can come over only if you bring your sister, though. All right, see you soon. Poor Parker, he's going to be devastated. That's Martina, by the way. Classy and sweet with a bit of an edge. Hi, is this Jeff? That's not important. I was just calling to let you know I saw your wife at the clinic yesterday. Turns out she's pregnant. Well. A lot of an edge. Sorry to break your heart, kind sir, but uh, yeah, the kid's not yours. Word is she kind of got into it with this stoner dude and uh, things got out of hand. But we've been good friends for a while and she's always been there for me. Oh, and she's brutally honest too. Yeah, long story. Oh, and she might have also gotten herpes from him and given it to you. Okay, bye. Wait a sec. Did I forget to tell him the stoner dude was also 17 and a minor? Oh well, he'll find out about it in court. And then there's me, Darren. Now I would tell you a little bit more about who I am, but I am not so sure I know anymore. See, I've been keeping a big secret from Martina and Tony for a while now. And you'd think that since I co own a business where the whole point of it is to deliver bad news, that I'd have no problem delivering bad news of my own. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. I don't mean to offend you when I say this, but you don't look all that sad for someone who just lost his grandfather. Hello? Yes, this is Darren. No, not Derek. Darren. D-A-R-R-E-N. But yeah, Thomas is my grandpa. Why? What's going on? Maybe you should save the paperwork for tomorrow. Got something on my mind and I need a distraction. 
It's not about my grandfather. Care to share? Oh my God, wait, 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 where is he now? Okay, okay, hold on, I'll, I'll be right there. What do you mean he's already? Not really, and I don't look sad because I'm not sad. My grandpa's in heaven with God. What's there to be sad about? Besides, I'll see him again someday. Look, man, we know you're a Christian, but does it not bother you even the slightest bit that he isn't here on this earth anymore? I mean, with you? You won't get to see him every day like usual. When someone loses a loved one, people usually try to cheer them up, but my friends are here trying to cheer me down. You guys are trying to force sadness on me when I don't feel sad, and I shouldn't feel sad. When God calls one of his people home, that calls for celebration, not mourning. We're not trying to force sadness on you. We just think you're suppressing your feelings a bit. I know what it's like. When my sister Jackie died in the accident last year, I was devastated. But I was so busy trying to make sure my parents were okay that I forgot to make sure I was okay. Jackie meant the world to me. So I was afraid to face the feelings that came along with losing her. She's right, bro. Jackie was the first girl I ever fell in love with. When Martina called to tell me that Jackie was dead, I didn't know how to handle it. Dealing with Jackie's death is what actually brought Martina and I closer together as friends. We were able to help each other through it. And that's what solidified our friendship. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to remind you both of Jackie. I'm just trying to have a positive outlook on all of this. I do appreciate you both being here for me though. Well, enough sad talk, now let's talk business. So, this week we deliver bad news for 25 people at a rate of $40 per person for each person that the bad news was delivered to. So that leaves us with about $1,000 total and $333 each. That's almost a 20% increase from what we made last week. Can't say I'm surprised. We live in a cruel world, so there will always be bad news to deliver. I can't believe our phones aren't blowing up with requests right now. Thank you. I got a voicemail for a bad news delivery request while we were at the funeral. Came from a girl named Chloe O'Connor. That's weird. I got a text from a James O'Connor. You think they're related somehow? Could be. Well, instead of sitting around here wondering, why don't you two figure this out? And what are you going to go to? Sit around and play video games all day like usual? <laughs> no. I actually got a, I got a girl coming over. Her name was Candy, Parker's big sister. I invited them over after their dad passed away. So while my grandfather lay dead in his casket and people were bawling their eyes out, you were sexting? Sexting? No, it was just a normal conversation between a guy and a girl. What's the matter with you, Darren? So what do you think she meant when she said she wanted to come and cheer you up? <laughs> I don't know, but her name was Candy after all. You're ridiculous. Okay, that's my cue to leave. I'm going to go check on the situation with Chloe. And I'll go see what's up with James. Gonna have some candy? This is where things start to go wrong. Anyone here? Yo, sorry to interrupt, but would any of you happen to be James? Why are you looking for James? Is he his boyfriend or something? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention that we, the Bears of Bad News, have one primary rule that we follow. Don't get involved. No matter the situation or the person, just figure out what the bad news is, deliver it, and move on. Things were different this time, though. I made the rule, and I was the first one to break it. Oh, sorry, dude, I didn't know anyone was in here. Yeah. Are you James? Yeah, who are you? My name is Darren, I'm one of the owners of the Bears of Bad News. You texted me about a bad news delivery request. <sighs> Never mind, I'm okay now, you can leave. Are you sure everything's okay? Yes, everything's okay. Then why'd you send the text? Well, if you really want to know, my sister Chloe and I decided to permanently leave home without telling anyone. 
He secretly overheard our father talking about how he was planning to kick us out for some stupid reasons. So anyways, we decided to go ahead and do it ourselves. You know? But before we left, we we're gonna have you guys tell them that we ran away. So we didn't think that we got kidnapped or something. They didn't send the cops out to us. Why did he want to kick you guys out if you don't mind me asking? <sighs> well, uh, what you got behind your back there? It's nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. Bro, mind your business, okay? What I'm doing should be of no concern to you. Just go. I don't need your help anymore. What, so I'm supposed to just walk away and pretend like I didn't see the pills in your hand? This isn't the first time I've seen something like this before. You were gonna overdose on purpose, I know you were. I said get out of here. You don't have to do this. Whatever's going on isn't worth dying over. What do you care, man? What does anyone care? No one's even gonna miss me if I die. Well, what about your sister Chloe or the football team? Maybe. That's about it. There's nothing else left for me here. I'm better off dead. I care. You uh, mind if I hold on to those? I think, uh, I think the football team is having a party at Ryan's house, but um, I don't think I'm going. Well, my friends and I are going to hang out tomorrow, just toss around the football or something, nothing crazy. You're welcome to join us if you want. I don't think we'll be able to make it. Well, if you change your mind, you have my number. Cancel? Appointment for what? She wouldn't tell you. Why are they both so secretive? I mean, I tried to ask James about her too, but he didn't say much either. What do you mean ask again? I literally just talked to the guy a few hours ago. Fine. But first I'm gonna stop at that Spanish spot. La Casita del, del, del something, but I heard they got good empanadas. Yes, I'll bring some back to the office. All right, talk to you later. I know I shouldn't be showing you this, but I feel like I can trust you, you know? So, my sister Chloe's been doing this anonymous blog. Um, what do you think I don't know this? Let's see. <clears throat> Makeup, how to make avocado toast, best albums of the year. Oh, right here, red flies. I can't believe I let this happen. I'm a little scared, but excited at the same time. I just don't know if the baby's father is going to stay in the picture. My sister's pregnant? He gets a little angry sometimes. I'm afraid he might hurt the baby, and he's told me multiple times that he doesn't like kids. He even tried to schedule an abortion for me. His name is Ryan. He's on the football team with James. Wait a second, that's the guy that was in the hallway by the stairwell. You gotta do something, man. Can't keep letting Ryan hurt her, man. She's pregnant. I'm really not supposed to get involved with clients like this. Please, man, come on. You gotta help me. Why don't you invite her to the hangout tomorrow? Martina will be there, and it's probably better if a, another woman talks to her about this kind of thing. 
And then maybe we can figure out a way to deal with Ryan too. All right, that sounds good. Look at us. We seem to be enjoying ourselves, right? Well, things are about to get ugly. And I mean really ugly. You know that secret I told you I was keeping from Martina and Tony because I didn't know how to break it to them? Well, that secret is about to come out real soon. Where's Chloe? How did you find me? Where is she? She needs to come with me now. No, I used to have an ex just like you. Thought he could put his hands on me too. So I caught him off guard and put mine right back on him. Out of my face, I'm here for Chloe. Boy, I am not the one. You need a backup before I back you up. Listen, I'm trying to be nice, but this is the last time I ask you to move. She ain't going anywhere with you. Now the bag wants to get Watch involved too. Guess I got three girls to slap tonight. One, two, three. Watch your mouth. Don't call him that word again. He ain't no bag and he ain't no girl. Oh really? Last I heard, he was taking it from Coach Stevens. No wonder he's always on the bench. <laughs> well, leave him alone, Ryan. James, what is he talking about? Go ahead, tell her, James. She deserves to know what a sissy you are. James, what's wrong? Coach forced me. You know, after what he said, if I ever told anyone, he cut me from the team and I lose my scholarship. If I ever got cut, there's no way I'd be able to afford school and have a chance to go pro. Is that why you got in that big argument with Dad? Yeah. James, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Why didn't you tell me? I was embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed, bro. But I guess the secret's out now. I got raped by a coach. You know what, Ryan? Leave my brother alone. Yeah. And no, I'm not getting an abortion. Yeah. I'm keeping the baby and there's nothing you can do about it. Why do men always feel like they have control over women's bodies? Ryan, you barely have control over your own body. If I remember correctly, it took you two pills just to. She's lying. She's lying. I thought those are steroids you had. You will have no part in raising this child. I'm going to do everything in my power to keep my baby and myself safe. And that means staying away from you. You will not put your hands on me anymore. I won't let you beat me senseless every time you don't get your way. Ryan. You and your friends need to get out of here now. Fine, whatever. What? Screw all of you. And Chloe, I didn't want anything to do with that stupid baby anyway. Deal with it on your own. Ready for blast off. Get ready for blast off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Go, go, go. Take off. Take off. Thank you guys for being such great friends. Even though we've only known each other for like officially two days now. You've all been so nice to my brother and I. I think I should have been more cautious around Ryan because of those rumors going around. I guess the stories about him and that girl Jackie were true. Wait, what did you say? Before Ryan and I got together, he was very violent with his ex-girlfriend Jackie. Apparently, he beat her pretty bad before her accident. Jackie was my sister. How come I've never heard this rumor before? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I just assumed you guys knew because Darren was there. I... What does she mean that you were there, Darren? Here comes that secret I was talking about. The witness and investigators at the scene said she was alone. What, so you were there and you just left Jackie alone to die? It, it's, it's not like that, you don't understand. Understand what? 
You know that Jackie meant everything to Tony and I. And I still don't understand why you're in the car with my girlfriend. She needed my help with something. I bet you helped her out with that real good, huh? Didn't you, huh? Tony, I wasn't messing with your girlfriend, I swear. But she's dead, so there's no way I could know. I was going to tell you guys sooner, but I didn't know how to. I knew neither of you would believe me when I told you the whole truth anyway. Whole truth? What, so there's more to what you just said? The story Chloe mentioned isn't completely true. The truth is, Jackie, she, she was drunk. We were out with some other people that night and she was drinking before she got in the car. You guys know I'm religious and I don't drink, so I offered to drive her home safely. When she refused, I let her drive for a few minutes, but when I realized that she couldn't handle it, I told her I had to use the bathroom so that she would pull over while I called someone else to come get her. I thought she'd be safe in a parked car, but I guess somehow she took the car off the park and she hit something. I thought Jackie was sober. So did I. I know how much Jackie meant to you guys, and I didn't want you guys to know that she died from drinking. That's not the memory anyone wants to have when they think of someone they lost. We didn't know Darren. We're sorry. Sorry? We've been friends for how long, and look how quickly you both turned on me. Tony, how could you ever think I would dare try something with the girl you're dating? Here I was thinking that you two were the only two people in the world I could trust, only to find out that neither of you trust me. But we don't trust each other, and why are we even working together? This company was founded on trust. But since that's obviously out the door, I think I am too. What do you mean you? You're quitting bears of bad news? I guess so. <laughs> Fogging up the glass I trace the skyline with my finger I'm wondering where you're at I'm wondering where you're at You keep it hidden, keep it underneath your skin don't even leave a trail so you forget where you have been You try to paint tomorrow over yesterday's mistakes Well, you're missing out on everything today Y ya no sabe lo que pasa Hey, Bernardo Pineda, I forgot to lock the... Wait, aren't you one of Ryan's friends? Jack? It was Ryan's friend, and yeah. You need to leave. We're closed right now. You went from calling a company to work in here? I said get out. All right, I'm sorry. Just hear me out first. Look, I'm sorry what happened in the field that day. Ryan has been a jerk and we all just kind of played along with it. Didn't expect to hear that coming from you, but I was kind of surprised the news broke out about your coach being fired. I actually went to confront him myself about what he did to James, but... Turns out someone had already reported it to the dean. That was you guys, wasn't it? The kid got assaulted. You know, of course they reported him. We're not monsters. Huh, there is still some good in the world, isn't there? Since you're in a helpful mood, you've got 20 minutes to get this place spotless so with Tony Oakley. I don't know if you heard, but James is taking Ryan's place as QB. He quit after everyone found out about his condition. Really? That's great news, the part about James and I mean. Yeah, I've never seen a bigger smile on the kid's face before. So tell me, why are you working here instead of with the team? 
I'm not gonna get into all the details, but my friends basically accused me of letting someone we all cared about die. When in reality, I did everything I could to protect her. And you're quitting the team over that? It's not the situation, it's the principle. They should have trusted me. You can't just accuse someone of something without knowing all the facts first. Makes sense, I guess. I lost my grandpa recently, and my parents died when I was young, so he raised me. But after he died, Martina and Tony were the only people left that I considered family. So imagine what it's like having the only people who you trust turn their back on you. I mean, I haven't spoken to them in so long. I still haven't even gotten my stuff back from the office yet. You know, you should really go get your stuff back soon before they have a chance to toss it out. It also might give you a chance to talk everything over with them. It'll be tough, but yeah, maybe you're right. I'll probably go after my shift. Thanks, Jack, for this and for talking to the Dean of all James. Sorry for Ryan, maybe even your football buddies ain't so bad after all. See you later, bad news. Tony, it worked. He's gonna stop by after his shift. He got shut up enough time to finish setting things up. Tony, come on, open the door. I need to get my stuff. Darren, Darren hey, what's up? how you doing, man? I don't want to hear any apologies from anyone. I'm just gonna grab my stuff and go. You don't even want to stay for the party? What party? Come on. What is this? Our company anniversary party. One year ago today, we started delivering bad news. I forgot about that after all of that drama. You two aren't off the hook just yet, but I guess I'll stay for the party. Hey guys, I want to say uh, thank you again for helping Chloe and I. It's been so much to us. Hey man, no problem. We're glad we could help. I was in a really dark place. I don't think I've been here right now if it wasn't for you guys. Everyone in the team has been really supportive. My promotion to quarterback is going to pay off big time. Hey Chloe, since you have nowhere to stay, you want to stay with me till you're back on your feet? Thank you so much. I'd love to. Martina, you've been such a great friend. Are we gonna stay in here and talk all day? Or are we gonna get this party started? Please tell me you didn't damage my car. Oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll be right there. All right, I'm here. What happened? I didn't mean to do it. After everything that happened. Do what exactly? And what's that in your back seat? I didn't know what to do, man. Do what? What are you talking about? Ryan. He's dead. No way. Ryan's dead? How? He's 
started teasing me. You know, it didn't bother me, but she started threatening Chloe. So I was getting angry. I thought it was it was banging on the hood of the car. my foot on the gas and I ran him over. James, I know he hurt your sister, but that's not a reason to murder someone. With everything, man, is disrespecting me, belittling me, well, why did you call me here? What am I supposed to do about this? I'm hoping you can fix this, man. Fix this? James, what we do is deliver news for people. We don't get rid of dead bodies. Would you, would you please help me? Can you... All right, let's just put him in the trunk before somebody sees us. All right. Um, yeah, this should work. Let's let's put him in here. Yeah. But I can't lose this one. I get a breath of a falling night. Thought that I was fit to find the rest to be. You gave me life for loving me. Tell me where did we go so wrong? Tony, is Martina with you? Okay, okay, okay. Meet, meet me at the office in 10 minutes. I, I have some bad news.